This video is aimed at teaching absolute beginners how to build and code robots made from the LEGO Robot Inventor 51515 set. The LEGO Spike set can use similar code. A classic artificial intelligence problem is for robots to follow a line. In this video, we'll find out how to teach our TAS1 robot to follow a line of different colors. We will start up the code the same way as we've done with our previous tutorial. Find the set movement motors to A and B and add that to our program. TAS1's motors are connected to slots E and F, so change the command to E and F. Next, find the pink set movement speed to 50% command and add it to our program. Change the speed to 30% which will be a good speed for testing our line following code. Next, we have to work out how to teach our robot to follow a line. You will see that this black line has two edges. The way we get our robot to follow the line is not to follow the line itself, but to follow one of the edges of the line, like this. You will see that our TAS1 robot has a sensor over the black part of the line. As we turn it to the right, or clockwise from above, the colour sensor will leave the black part of the line and be over the non-black part of the surface alongside the line. We then want TAS1 to turn to the left, or anti-clockwise from above, and keep turning until the colour sensor sees black again. We repeat these black, non-black, black, non-black non movements as we follow zigzagging along the edge of the black line. But how do we do that in code? First of all, find a yellow forever command and add it to our program. Next, find a yellow if then else command. Searching further down the list of commands, we find an if is color command and add that to the if then part of the if then else command, like this. We need to change the A to C because our color sensor is in TAS1 slot C. We will also need to change the color from red to black because we want TAS1 to follow the edge of a black line. Now, if TAS1's color sensor sees black, it wants to turn right, or clockwise from above. So we find the pink start moving straight zero command and add it to the first vacant slot of the if then else command. We change the straight zero to right 60. Next we add the same command to the second part of the if then else command, but this time we change the zero to left minus 60, so that TAS1 turns from the non-black back towards the black line. Now, let's run this code and see what happens. This works beautifully, but what happens if we have another colour alongside the black line, apart from white? Let's try it with some different colours, with the same code and see what happens. Will it work with different colours? Red OK. Brown is OK. Purple or puce is OK. Yellow is OK. Light green is OK. Blue is OK. Dark green is OK. So, this code works beautifully for a black line with different colours alongside it. But will it work for a line that is another colour, for example, a dark green line? Let us change the code so that instead of black, our if-then code specifies a green colour. Running this code with white alongside it, it works beautifully. Now try it with different colours alongside. It works for yellow, it works for black, it works for blue. 
let's try it with a light green. But as I guess you would expect, the light green is too much like the dark green and it won't work in that case. Similarly, it's possible to follow a line that is any of these colour options. The line can be black, blue, green, yellow, red or white. I don't have any cardboard that would represent these other three options, so I can't test them. Sorry. Even so, this code provides very versatile edge of line following. However, all these examples have been straight lines. Would our code still work if the line was curved? Let us change our code so that TAS1 follows a black line, try it on a curved line, and see what happens. TAS1 followed the curved line. That's really good. However, there may be problems if the curve is tighter. Let us try a more difficult curve. You can see that TAS1 follows the straight bit, but when it gets to the tight curve, it just leaves the line. There are some program changes we can make which will help a little. Change the turn right from 60 to 90. Change the turn left from minus 60 to minus 90 and change the speed from 30 to 20. Try running this code. You will notice that TAS1 jerks a bit more. It does go around the curve at the top where it failed before. It comes down the, to the bottom, but when it comes down to the bottom, which is a tighter curve, it fails. So there is a limit on how tight a curve TAS1 can go around with this particular code. There are more advanced ways of handling tighter curves, but we will leave these for a later tutorial. In the meanwhile, we found some versatile code that will allow us to reliably follow the edge of a line in a great number of circumstances. Good stuff. You can find a free downloadable PDF that includes this and other tutorials at www.drg2.com. Thank you for clicking on the subscribe and like buttons. It makes us feel appreciated. You may get more tutorials more quickly that way. Thank you for watching our how-to LEGO Robot Inventor 51515 tutorial about following a line. Bye now from Dr. Graham.